Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I have something really cool to show you. So this is a Jemmy 1992 Pumpkin Imposter. More importantly, this is a talking variant. I think they also called the light up ones Pumpkin Imposters as well. This is just a standard battery activated talking one. I don't really know if there's anything too remarkable about this particular one, besides the fact that I have the original packaging that's in okay shape. I mean, it's got like some tears and, and an excess like residue of a sticker. But what's really cool is that this one has two modes. So it has this, you know, light up mode, which is on. And then it has a mode where it talks. And it's pretty cute. So this one was sold at Kohl's back in 1992 and was uh, $12.99 at the time, which I think is, I think was would be considered expensive. I actually pulled it up on, a, on an inflation calculator and it would be around $30 today, which is really interesting. I like doing stuff like that, especially when they're older. But this guy is in pretty okay shape as well. I mean, it was definitely used. I mean, he's got like some paint chips up here and some scuffs and scrapes. But he is in working order, which is the most important part. The light in him, though, is not original. It is one that I switched out because his was long burnt out. So I had like a Christmas string light. And I literally just unscrewed the bulb and screwed it into the, or not really screwed, I popped out the bulb and popped it into the socket of this one because it didn't fit. And I did a, like a yellow one because I thought it would look cooler and I think it really does. I think the original ones are like red and a dark orange. So I did yellow because I think it looks more like a, like, like a flame, like, like a candle. So, I was pleasantly surprised by how this thing only takes like three AA batteries. I don't know, something in me just makes me think that like older items take like these type of batteries more so. Maybe, I'm just not used to old items yet, but I know I really only have two things from the 90s that are like animated or have any sort of electronic function. And it's this guy and a big mouth billy bass so and big mouth billy bass i think that one's from 1999 so i mean it, it's almost like a 2000s item it's almost as old as me basically i basically am saying that i'm old as fucking dirt so show that away let's look at this box so this is really cool i don't know how often you see them with the packaging still intact but it says sound activated pumpkin imposter. Lights up, says happy Halloween. Use a top, and there is the Coles tag with the skew and the barcode. I think that's really cool. Halloween factory. I think that is an old Jimmy thing. I like the little pumpkin dude. Back here, there, Jimmy and Chewie's Corp. 1992 from Irving, Texas. And then I like this little display with the other imposters. Now mine's not pictured in here. It's got kind of the spookier ones. I like I like this face. I don't know if they make a talking one in that style or if they're just lights up. And then this is kind of their marketing. It says, I'm known as the pumpkin imposter. Though I look real, I'm not. With me, there's no messing carvy, carving. And I will never rot. When you clap your hands, I light up and laugh. To create a spooky scene, use me year after year on every Halloween. I think that's cute. I, I, really, I really like that. So, yeah. Again, here's the side. I like, I like the Halloween factory. I wish they would keep that. I think that's so cool. I like when they have little gimmicks like that. So, I'm going to kind of toss that aside and bring this guy back. So, this is made from the same standard material as, like, the faux pumpkins. It's not, like, the plastic. I don't know. I think it's, like, a kind of foam. It's, like, I don't know why I did that. 
So funny enough, I have a good friend of mine who loves old pumpkins and he kind of got me into them as well. Uh, Truly Crazy or True Crazy 5 or some, some of you might know him as Fish Puppet. He, or, you know, Connor the Cringiest or just Connor. He got me into these really because I saw this collection and I just realized how much cooler they are. How a lot of them had a lot, like, much more dynamic faces. And they still kept, like, the really simple, like, pumpkin form. And I have a whole bunch of these pumpkins. I have just a shit ton. I don't really showcase them, though, because they don't have, like, a gimmick like this one does. This one talks and has, like, the light-up function. So, I mean, obviously, that's why I'm showing this one off. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty, like, stoked to have my first talking pumpkin imposter. Again, I don't know if the plain light-up ones are also a part of that series, I'm sure there are people who are more familiar with this series and just more familiar with old Jimmy. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Obviously, I love learning more about, you know, companies and older stuff. So don't, don't be afraid to correct me. I love to learn about stuff like this. So anyway, I'm going to flip them over. And then, I mean, it's a pretty good condition. And we're going to put them on the on function. Oh. Did you just die? Happy Halloween. Now we're acting finicky. Happy there we go. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> I won't lie, I had like a micro panic attack there because I thought he just died on me. So yeah, I thought the they flashed and that might just be dependent on the light. Here, I'm gonna do it again. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Is it does kind of flicker in there? I'm trying to get like a good view. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna get a good view. Oh, I, okay, there we go. But yeah, that's the pumpkin imposter. It's really cute. And I like how this one's more of a cutesy, you know, pumpkin. Be really gentle. Because the sound sensor, oddly enough, is still pretty sensitive. It's not very loud. But I kind of don't expect that from an older piece. But I like it. I think it's cute. If you like pumpkins, you should totally try to get one. I got this guy for like 10 bucks from a flea market. It was from a vendor I knew. So she, she hooked me up. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. I'm talking really soft so I don't set him off because I don't feel like fl flipping him over and turning him off again. I'm lazy. I know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely pr give me more information about these. If you are knowledgeable about old Jimmy and, like, the pumpkin imposters and all that stuff, tell me all about them. Seriously, like, tell me all about them. I want to learn as much as I can about these. Tell me about the different styles. And Link... If you have any of these and you found them, link your own videos down below so we can all watch them too. I think these are really cool and I like stuff like this. I like old props that are like way older than me. I think it's kind of fun. Anyway, that's all for me guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.